everyone, it's Richie here for another Hydrovane technical video. Today we're going to be doing a heading tube swap on the Hydrovane drive unit. In this example, we're going to go from our standard heading tube up to our XTHT12, which is a 12 inch extension. Some of the reasons we do this are to avoid obstructions on the transom like an arch or a bimini and raise the vane up higher or keep it lower while leaving the controls at the best height for you to access them. Follow along, I'm going to go through the steps for swapping out any heading tube. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is take an inventory of all the components that you've been sent. There should be two major sections. You'll have the heading tube, which will be inserted into this top frame casting most likely. And you'll also have the con rod. This con rod you can see has the bobbin and it also has the ball screw set at the bottom. You may not have been sent every one of these components for various reasons, be it compatibility or leaving things out to keep the costs down, uh, but just take an inventory of what you have and what you don't have in the new parts will be reused from the existing components on the unit. So when you get to the worm box stud, just to clear up a few common misconceptions, this is a stud, not a bolt. So it's threaded on this screen left side here, but not on this screen right side here. So to loosen it off, all you have to do is loosen this nylock nut here, the 13 millimeter wrench, put it on, lefty loosey, and that's all you need to do.
when you get to this stage, you may need to do a little bit of calibration on the ball screw right here. What you want to be doing is aligning this ratio pin in here over top of the center of the shaft. And to do that, we're going to adjust how screwed in to the con rod this ball screw is right here. So just loosen off these two lock nuts like this, another 13 mil, and then adjust this ball screw right here, either lengthening or shortening so that this bottom lever is sitting flat and this pin here is right in the center. Once you're done, just tighten back up. Make sure that both of them are nice and tight and you can even throw some Loctite on there for good measure. Get both those locked up and you're good to go.